Hi, I'm Stephen Smith of Art Smith Craft Works. For today's DIY Friday, what I'd like to show you is how I take the little pieces of dowel that I use to build a steampunk uh, airship propeller and cut the slits in those that hold the, the actual blades when I put this together. It's kind of a simple uh, shop trick that I've developed as I've gone along, and it's not brand new stuff, I'm sure, but um, I, I, I like trying to figure things out for myself and apply my own little techniques to the equipment that I have. And so this is a good way of, uh, of cutting a slit in a dowel. Uh, stay tuned. So what I've done here is I've cut a piece of dowel and the, the diameter of that dowel uh, can vary depending on what your project is. In my case I'm using this as the the blade shaft on one of my uh, airship propellers and in order to put the blade on there I need to I need to cut a slit in here so that that blade uh, will slide into there and the and the blade that I use oftentimes is something that looks a little bit like this so it's you know it's it's pretty flat and then that needs to slide you know into the end here so I need a slit to do that and the way that I cut that is I I have a jig um, that I've rigged up along with this little uh, slide edge here and the jig kind of looks like this. It's got two dowels on it and a, and a bottom piece that has a slit has a slit uh, cut into it and then that basically travels along this to slide right up into the blade of the, the um, bandsaw. So when I get ready to cut that then I set my dowel piece in between these other two dowels on the jig and I usually will tape it across to hold it um, and I've usually got a spot marked so that I know you know how deep I need to go for a particular uh, cutting and then uh, I turn that on and uh, and run it in so this is how that happens safety first don't forget to wear your eye protection and if your machine is loud don't forget to wear your ear protection And then as you can see, I've got a nice little slit put in there. Um, if I'm careful, that'll be, you know, pretty, pretty centered. Sometimes it's not exact and it doesn't really have to be. I'll go in then later and, you know, pick the, the burrs off of it and, and sand it a little bit. But now you'll see that what will happen is my, my blade will slide right in there. Sometimes because of the thickness of the blade is actually thicker than my, my uh, propeller blade there, the slot ends up having a little bit of uh, slop in it. So I'll either do something to thicken that up on, on this blade piece and then glue that in there. And I often use, you know, just a, a super glue of some kind of cyanoacrylate glue and then, and then let that dry. I also will quite often stain these first uh, and then and then slide them in there but it makes a nice little propeller blade and I've gone through on some of my other videos how I uh, make the hub for that propeller and uh, this is really how I slot those dowels to make the the blades of those propellers so this is uh, Stephen Smith of Art Smith Craftworks I would appreciate it if you would give me uh, a like and a share and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel Share it with your other maker friends who would be interested in my particular little way of doing things. And uh, we'll see you next time.